a Klaasman Daimon extraction site. The most important raw material for substrate production still comes from here, and that means peat. The material is not extracted from natural peatlands, but always and only at previously used sites. Operations at each individual site can last for many years. But what happens to the sites afterwards when extraction is finished? Are they carefully renaturated? All right, let's ask Klaasman Dahlmann, the real experts in this area. Re-wetting is the most common form of renaturation for peat extraction sites in Germany. We call these large basins polders. These tracts of land are leveled out by bulldozers and dikes are then built from peat material and the embankment surfaces smoothed off. So far so good, but how does the water get in here? Water is typical of this kind of bogland, isn't it? The only water contained in the polder comes from rainwater, and that collects by itself. We essentially only start off the bogland formation process. Nature takes care of the ongoing renaturation on its own. But exactly how do the plants get to grow in the water? Are they specially planted? No, nature does that all by itself, provided we maintain the area properly. Seeds and spores from different bogland plants are blown by the wind over the surface of the water and some are able to establish themselves. A green carpet of vegetation gradually forms over the surface. Dying plants sink to the bottom and new ones grow over them. And so the layer of peat gradually becomes thicker and thicker. And one thing is absolutely clear. All renaturated areas are subject to strict nature conservation rules. Yes, that is right. But Klaas Mandelmann goes one step further and abides by an industry code of practice. This is a voluntary code of conduct that lays down the highest standards for harvesting and site restoration. This is an important contribution to ecosystem diversity and marks a successful contribution by Klaas Mandelmann to natural sustainability. That's it. For complete information on renaturation and sustainability, and still more about Klaasman Daimann, go to...